are going to discuss the nasopulmonary drug delivery system so in this session we are going to discuss pulmonary drug delivery system so this is a disclaimer for the viewers in this session we are going to discuss factors affecting pulmonary absorption so let us see the various factors how they are going to affect the pulmonary absorption of the drug there are various factors are there which are going to affect the pulmonary absorption which are related with the drug related factors then the physical chemical properties of the formulation and dosage form characteristic characteristics in the case of drug related factor we are going to discuss the lipophilicity polymorphism chemical nature molecular weight pk and partition coefficient dissolution rate and solubility in the case of physical chemical properties of the formulation we are going to discuss ph and uh, mucosal irradiation tonicity and the viscosity and in the case of uh, dosage form characteristics we are going to discuss the things related with the drops sprays gels and powders let us see the details of the these factors and how they are going to affect the absorption of a drug from the pulmonary route very first factor that is the lipophilicity as you know that the lipophilicity it is a one of the important parameter and which is going to affect the absorption of a drug from the lungs more lipophilic in nature with a some hydrophilic characters supports the permeation of lipophilic compounds through the lungs lipophilic drugs such as uh, alprenolol propranolol naloxan buprenorphine testosterone are most completely absorbed as compared to the hydrophilic drugs such as uh, metoprolol it indicates that the sufficient lipophilicity it is required in order to deliver the drug to the pulmonary route next factor that is the polymorphism both dissolution rate and uh, solubility of the drug it is affected by the polymorphism which in turn affects the absorption of drug through the biological membrane as all of you are aware about the drugs which are available in the various polymorphic form isn't it and polymorphism affects the dissolution rate as well as the solubility of the drug for example beta form of steroid case are 592 which is in a needle shape shows improved inhalation properties and in vitro respiration as compared to its alpha form that is a plex so this is about the polymorphism let us see the chemical nature how the chemical nature it is going to affect the pulmonary absorption structural modification such as a conversion of a drug into its a salt or a ester affects the pulmonary absorption rate for example in uh, cito carboxylic esters of uh, l tyrosine shows significant greater absorption than that of the l tyrosine so ester form of l tyrosine shows significantly greater absorption than the l tyrosine it indicates that the salt form is going to improve the absorption of a drug from the pulmonary route then the molecular weight molecular weight it is uh, yet another important factor which is going to affect the pulmonary absorption of a drug lipophilic compound exhibit direct whereas hydrophilic compound inverse relationship between a molecular weight and the drug permeation drug with a molecular weight less than 300 dalton permeates through aqueous channel 
and the rate of permeation of compounds with a molecular weight greater than 300 dalton is highly sensitive to molecular size if the drug is having a molecular weight above 300 dalton is a permeation to the lung it is going to be affected let us see the pk and the partition coefficient according to ph partition theory an ionized species shows better absorption compared with the ionized species for example aminopyrin shows enhanced rate of absorption at an increased ph while on other hand salicylic acid shows substantial deviations in its absorption profile at a different ph so there is a need to consider the ph partition theory so this is about the pk and the partition coefficient as we have discussed the example of aminopyrin and salicylic acid aminopyrin shows enhanced the rate of absorption at increased ph while on the other hand salicylic acid shows substantial deviation in its absorption profile at a different ph profile let us see the dissolution rate and the solubility both parameters that is the dissolution rate and solubility affects the pulmonary absorption as a particle needs to be dissolved prior to absorption as it is very simple whatever type of formulation is there whether it is a liquid or solid or semi solid whatever drug is there for absorption it should be present in the dissolved state then and then only it is going to be absorbed well the solution form absorb more rapidly than the solid dosage form isn't it so this is about the dissolution rate and the solubility let us move to, towards the next factor that is the ph and the mucosal irritation the ph of both formulation and pulmonary region affects the drug permeation to the targeted region that is alveolar region the ph between 4.5 to 6.5 avoids the irritation and provide efficient drug permeation and prevents the bacterial growth so there is a need to consider the ph of the formulation and ph of the absorption region in order to avoid the mucosal irritation as well as the pulmonary absorption of the drug ph ranging between 4.5 to 6.5 avoids the irritation as well as the efficient drug absorption or the permeation and furthermore it is going to prevent the bacterial growth so this is about the ph and the mucosal irritation then the tonicity tonicity it is yet another factor the maximum absorption across pulmonary membrane occurs at a 0.9% sodium chloride concentration which is isotonic to the membrane effect of effect of a small arity on the absorption of a secretin in rats showed maximum absorption at a sodium chloride concentration of 0.462 mol so this is about the tonicity let us see the viscosity of the formulation how it is going to affect the pulmonary absorption higher the viscosity of formulation more the contact time between the drug and the pulmonary mucosa thereby increases the permeation time for sufficient period of time the formulation it is going to be retained into the pulmonary mucosa due to high viscosity also it interfere with the normal functioning of the ciliary beating or the mucociliary clearance and thereby increases the pulmonary absorption of the drug so this is about the viscosity let us see the drops drops are the simple and a convenient system for drug delivery which uh, gets deposited to the site of administration and then absorbed to the site of action human serum albumin is uh, deposited more efficiently through this dosage form gels 
gels are the solutions or the suspensions of a high viscosity which has a several advantages over other dosage forms such as a reduction of pulmonary drips then the test impact leakage of formulation and the irritation then the powders powders are more preferred over other dosage forms such as solutions and suspension due to more stability for example salbutamol powder inhalation shows significant more bronco protection as compared to the inhalation the salbutamol solution and the last one that is sprays sprays are more efficient dosage form that can deliver drug in a powder solution and a suspension spray particle size morphology of the drug and the viscosity of the formulation determines the choice of delivery system such as a meter dose pump actuator and the inhaler so in the case of sprays it is a more efficient dosage form that can deliver drug in a powder solution and suspension spray spray particle size morphology of the drug and viscosity of the formulation determine the choice of drug delivery system such as a meter dose pumps actuators and the inhaler so this is about the factors affecting pulmonary absorption